Scathing report calls for criminal investigations into the city of Stonecrest's distribution of the money from the Federal CARES Act. The report outlines alleged conflicts of interest and apparent self-dealing among current and former city officials. 11 Alive's Doug Richards takes a closer look. The CARES Act was a huge federal program designed to distribute federal dollars to businesses hurting during the pandemic. The report suggests that the city of Stonecrest badly mismanaged its portion of that money, potentially to the point of criminality. The city of Stonecrest entered into an agreement with a company formed during the pandemic to disperse some $6 million in federal CARES Act money. But the report says the company was run in part by a city official. And the report indicates the company may have made more than a half million dollars off that deal. The report indicates numerous instances where people with ties to Stonecrest City Hall also got portions of the federal money. While this investigation cannot definitely conclude that this was a kickback scheme, the appearance of such is overwhelming, wrote the current city attorney, Winston Denmark. And it's really shocking behavior to me. Emmanuel but Jones represents Stonecrest in the state and Senate. And Jones has echoed the report's own conclusion that federal or state investigators should investigate Stonecrest officials for potential criminal activity. At best, the administration of the city's CARES Act funds was marked by serious mismanagement. At worst, it was yet another regrettable instance of public corruption in DeKalb County, wrote the report's author. I don't know all the facts at this time, but I do know enough to say that potentially there could be some uh, criminal activity. It's worth remembering that this report was an internal report written by the city attorney employed by the city of Stonecrest and slamming some of his own co-workers.